Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about setting up the WaveSurfer 10 to capture a waveform and do some general analysis. First, set the horizontal and vertical controls to scale the grid appropriately for the waveform being acquired. Change the time per division by rotating the horizontal front panel control knob, or from the time-based dialog using the oscilloscope touchscreen. Horizontal delay can be set by turning the delay front panel control knob, or by using the delay controls in the time-based dialog. Vertical scaling is used to position and scale the waveform directly on the oscilloscope. The volt per division setting can be changed by selecting the channel of interest and then rotating the vertical front panel control knob. It can also be changed directly from the dialog box of the channel setup by selecting the descriptor box of the channel of interest using the oscilloscope touchscreen. Vertical offset can be set by turning the offset front panel control knob, or by using the offset controls in the channel dialog box. The next step is to set up the appropriate trigger that will allow you to capture the waveform. The trigger controls allow you to stabilize repeating waveforms on the display or to capture single shot waveforms. The front panel contains six different controls for setting up the trigger. The level knob, auto button, normal button, single button, stop button, and setup button. Here we will view our trigger settings by pressing the trigger descriptor box. Next, adjust the level knob until the desired trigger threshold level is displayed. To acquire a single acquisition, press the single button. In this mode, the oscilloscope is armed to trigger once when the input meets the trigger condition. Now let's set up some measurements to do some analysis on the acquired waveform. The WaveSurfer 10 allows a user to display up to six parameters at once. The measurement parameters are set up from the measure dropdown at the top of the display. Enable the show table checkbox and set up each of the six parameters as necessary by selecting the corresponding parameter selection. Each parameter setup allows the user to select a source and measure type. Gating is also available to isolate measurements to only certain portions of the display. Statistics and histicons can be turned on for all parameters from the main measure setup dialog. Histicons are only available with the Advanced Debug Toolkit option. The WaveSurfer 10 allows you to set up to two math functions if the Advanced Debug Toolkit option is installed. Waveform math can be set up by selecting Math, Math Setup from the drop-down menu. Here we will set up an FFT with our acquired waveform as the source. Select the F1 tab and then change the operator to FFT by pressing the touchscreen and scrolling through the math operators. Lastly, we will set up a zoom on the source waveform. The zoom function magnifies the selected region of the specified source trace. To turn on a quick zoom, touch the zoom front panel control button. Once activated, you can adjust the scale of the zoom using the horizontal front panel controls, or by modifying the settings in the zoom dialog. A zoom can also be turned on directly from a trace dialog. To do this, touch the descriptor box of the desired source trace, then touch the zoom shortcut button in the trace dialog. To create a precise zoom, touch and drag to draw a selection box around any part of the source waveform. You can then get an even closer look by drawing another selection box on the zoom trace and then selecting the desired destination trace. To turn off all active zooms, simply press the zoom front panel control button.